Right now, my makeup is fucking terrible. As you can see. Now, the reason for that is I fell asleep in it. For some reason, that makes it rub off. If you know, please tell me. Now, firstly of all, I'm absolutely terrible at makeup. So, really, if I, really, if you're a makeup expert, please tell me how to actually do it. So yeah, I guess first I will show you what makeup I use, and then I'll get started. Okay, so firstly, you're going to need like a set of brushes. And of course, I'll go through what brushes to use when. So the first thing is that is basically essential is um, primer. Now, this is a product I have. I have some reservations about recommending this product because it's the only one I'm not actually 100% sure if it is vegan, but it probably is. But anyway, I got this one from a Primark. And the thing about this one is, the other ones I've had, they're much more expensive, but also this one lasts a lot longer and because it's spray, it's a lot easier to use. So you want to put that one on first. Oh, after that, now, this is what I used to use. This is, um, what do you call it? <laughs> this concealer, yeah. And um, I use concealer, but... And it conceals things, but honestly, your imperfections are cute as fuck, and I don't use this anymore. It's, you know, you should embrace them, so that can fuck off. Now, next, now, I don't need like one of three things I use. Now, sometimes I skip this stage, right? Entirely. So, this is illuminator, and this is foundation. Now, and these are both liquid. So this one is a NYX, whatever you pronounce that, and that one's like ELF, whatever. Both of these seem reasonably good. I tend to more use a foundation, or sometimes none. Because the thing is that these are both liquid and they run out very quickly, so it's actually quite expensive. To keep buying this thing, like, it's, it's like the most expensive thing, like, if you're doing makeup, like, every day. Really, so... Sometimes I don't use it, but you look a bit shitter for it. And then after that, you've got highlighter. So this is um the Glam Glow palette. No idea who it's by, but, you know, it's highlighter. Now, it's quite good. You can see we use this brush here. Now, the only thing about it, though, as you can see, is that because I'm white, I'm going to use these two. Now, one of these works much better than the other, actually. Like I tested it years ago, but honestly, I forget. But these two, like, because again, I'm white, they don't really work on me very well. So it's actually a slight bit of a waste. But the other thing about this is I've got a mirror, which I tend not to use, cause like, like a proper external mirror like um, this is, um, that's generally a lot better. But, you know, if you don't have that, then. I have used that before, and it's, it's okay, I guess. Now, after that, after you put that on, you'll want to put on blush with this blush. Now, this course is health. Now, I now I never, when I started out, I didn't use blush, but now I started using it. It's actually something I always put on. It's very good. A friend bought me that. I'm very grateful. Now, so that's just like your general face. Um, next is called mostly like eyes. So I think this is actually like the my, my favourite thing. Like this set has made me very happy. It's very good. So I had an eyeshadow set before and it was actually terrible. So this is um an eyeshadow trace by uh, Beauty Glazed. And it's, well, it's basically just very good. Now, I tend to use two different brushes. One that's like... Really, really, they just got to be small. It's a thing. But use one for putting it on, and then one for blending it. So that's that. Now, after that, I put on um, 
I, I know. Now I'm actually, as you'll see, I'm really, really bad at doing it. I'm not entirely sure, like, if this is a good pen, a shit pen, but I know it's a lot better than the pen I had at first, so there we go. Now after that, now I do actually have a lot more lipsticks than this, and also I have other makeup I haven't shown here, but I don't use it. Now, this is like my usual lipstick I normally wear when I'm at uni. See, I'm not actually entirely sure who makes it, but pretty sure it's vegan so that's good and then um because we got these colored ones the thing about these ones is that they're really nice but they come off very very easily which is annoying to say the least like you literally just lick your lips and they're gone so i'm not totally sure how to fix that like if someone knows please tell me and the other thing is this this is what i actually usually use now I'm at home is um, it's actually meant to be colour changing lipstick, but I've never like actually seen it change colour. So a bit of a scam there, really. Now, finally, um, lip lacquer something, basically just lip gloss. Well, that's that. Oh, and the other thing is that I, because most people I think would use like mascara after that. To the eyeliner because I generally don't, and that's just like a personal thing. But I don't generally find it makes that much of a difference personally. And also, like my mascara, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. So I generally don't bother. Okay, so the first thing to do is take all this makeup off. Now you shouldn't do this, but what I normally do is actually just use an antibacterial wipe. But today, because I'm at home with my parents and it's coming out of their pocket, I've got some actual face wipe. So let's take this off first. That's probably good enough. We can't actually tell because my mirror is not an actual mirror, it is a webcam. Which is really, really bad. But anyway. So. First thing. I don't actually know if you need to shake this. Does it say shake it? I don't actually know. Sometimes I do it. Usually I don't. You probably don't have to. Wait, so obviously, first thing, it's actually gone. Yeah, pretty much okay. First thing, it's obviously this, so you just do this couple of sprays. Not actually way more than a couple, but you that's done. So, generally, let that sit in for a bit. A couple of about 30 seconds. Now, the thing about this foundation, so I'm going to use foundation today. Thing about this, so this one's basically nearly run out, as I said, because they run out really quickly. So how long do they have this one for? Probably about about three weeks, I think, before it started to run out and I started to not use it. I mean, there's probably more in it if like that forced it, I think. But anyway, I'll generally let that one dry in a bit, but well, at least I would. But yeah, I'm actually trying to bring this on, I'm just gonna. Do this a clumsy way. There's this. Some people say don't put it everywhere, but to be honest, yeah, because this mirror is actually terrible. It's really, really bad. To be honest, as I said, it's not a mirror, but webcam's really bad. It's not seeing any of this. Probably doing an absolutely terrible job and I can't even see it. But... Very high quality content, this, isn't it?
Oh, that is a way better rub than I normally do. Again, because I can't actually see what I'm doing. But anyway, that's the foundation done. And then, so next thing, of course, would be the um, highlighter. So, um, yeah. Now, as I said, like, not everyone put, some people say don't put the foundation everywhere, but I do personally. That's just me. It's um, oh, yeah, I can actually have a mirror here. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad, is it? Okay. Well, that needs rubbing in a bit. Okay. So, this is how I go with it. Now, I guess I'll start with a hard one first, which is actually the nose. Because this is what you want to do. You want to do it here. The feedback I generally get is that I, you know, I go too high up in the nose. That's what I'm usually told. That's the place you want to put it. You want to put it here. Here. And put it around your your chin. Like that. And then I put it around. So when, like you should, I'm just going to say like, you know, that's what I do, but take it mean the same thing because I might be doing this completely wrong. But this is how I do makeup. So you put it around like that. And that's. Generally okay. So that. And I usually just put a bit more on the tip there. That's pretty much it. Now, that's actually not. I might think first, that's actually blended terribly. But what I do. That we worry about that, want to put the blush on. So, um, here's our blush. Now, please to put the blush. Now, the first place I put the blush is on the nose, which some people say, you know, it just makes you look like you have a cold, but I know I like it on the nose. Then, um, in and on the chin. The other place is, yeah, but what I used to do is just naturally, right, because I've gone around there as my highlight, slam it in the middle. But you actually want to go slightly higher up than that. Go up there. And you'll actually kind of feel afterwards like you did aim for the centre, but actually you just want to aim slightly higher than that. Like on the bone rather than the flesh. That makes any sense. Be annoying, just on the bone sort of thing. Where you want to go. Okay, now that looks terrible. But what you can do, I've no idea if this is what you're meant to do at all. Now, what I've tried for this is even a sponge to like blend it in. But what I found is actually sometimes just remove it. So I generally just go over it with a brush. With a bit of force, it generally just blends in a bit. Really hope I'm not interrupted. Um, shit, that, that, shit, I'm the upstairs. Might be, yeah. Said I much prefer to be at uni right now, but I'm not. Which is sad, but there we go. So, yeah, I think that looks all right. I might be terrible, but I've done with this, to be fair. Right. Now, next is the um, exciting part, which is um, eye makeup. Now, you see, as I showed you all the different colours before, this is all of them, like, got purples, greens. We got yellows in random places, oranges. It's not terribly well organised, this book, but, you know, basically do whatever colours you want. Now, I generally, like, you naturally, you've got quite a lot of freedom here, as long as you apply it well. So, um, like, people say that you should do colours that blend well together, but actually, sometimes I don't, and it 
worked out very well. And other times it isn't. It's more about how you apply it rather than what colours you use. Now, oh shit, don't close that because that's my mirror, right? Now, I always find it very hard to choose. But today, what colours are this? Purple to orange. I think I'll just do purple into orange, I think. Well, I'll try. And again, there are many ways to do this. Some much more impressive than others. But, same problem, not, oh shit, still got some eyeliner on. God, man. I'm gonna wipe off some of that. Didn't notice that. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah, I still have some eyeliner on, but um, not sure I can tell the end. But yeah, so probably do purple then orange now. What shade purple you want? Now, the other thing is that for some reason I'm I'm not actually experimented with with this. But I'm told like around here. Like top, like top and sort of like outer should be darker, and then this area here should be lighter. That's just like a general rule. Apparently, it makes it look a bit better. So, um, unless we start with a purple, so yeah, go reasonably dark. Okay. So, now in the past, I used to do it like all the way up to the top. That's not great, but you also don't want to do it too low. Some people actually say do it really low, but you don't want to do it too low, I don't think. So, let me do that there. I'm doing a really bad job of this. But yeah, that's that side. Yeah, I've done a really bad job of that, but I don't think that should be too bad once we actually blend it, I hope. Now, this is a tricky thing. Now, because I'm now going to do like a lighter purple, this stage isn't so important. But, the thing is, now you've got your nice eyeshadow set and you view the thing a different colour. Now, you want to switch colours. But, obviously, you don't want to put a different colour on top of that. And also, it'll just mess up your eyes. So you want to get rid of your colour. The best way to do that is just rub it on your skin till it goes away. Or just put it on your hand or something till it runs out. Now, when I'm just, like, changing shades, you don't have to do it very thoroughly. But once you're done, like, once you're changing colours, it's a bit more important. I'm going to go something a bit darker. I guess I think that's just a reasonable colour to use, a reasonable shade. You don't think real I've gone. I don't think that's too bad. Symmetrically. And you see him making a mess of it. So there we go. And then of course on this side, because I feel like I've gone slightly more that way, I'm not gonna like overcompensate there. We like we blend this all together. So yeah. Now 
you know, my phone doesn't run out capacity and stop halfway through. Um, because now we have to, we just want a good rub to get rid of it. It's actually coming off quite quickly, I think, this time. Well, you can get like some alcohol stuff to dip it in and get rid of it instantly, but that's money. Get one of them. I don't really feel it's that necessary. Um, yeah, that's that. So now orange. We want to do um. Yeah, so like that. Well, like I said like they don't match particularly well. They don't, but as I said like. Like, my colours being close isn't actually particularly important, in my experience. It's more about how well you put them on, which today is pretty bad. In all honesty, but there we go. And that one, I'll just get rid of that. Don't need to get rid of it too much because of its twitching, twitching shape. Quite a light one. Okay, so, so it's very important to get rid of it now because it might be doing a complete. I might be doing a completely different cover tomorrow. I don't know that yet. Yeah, that's it. Gotten rid of. Because now, let's blend the air. Honestly, really, it's literally just get a different brush, move it around. Go a bit like that. Well, actually, that one's going a bit high up, actually. Normally, I think I would not have it that high up, but today it's gone that far, so so be it. This feels pretty long. I mean, a good way of knowing, like, how long roughly makeup takes. That's not too bad, is it? Done there, to be honest. We like those edges there, that edge is a bit messy. Careful, that could mess it up. Right, okay. Now I'm going to do my least favourite part, which is eyeliner. You'll see, which I need to clear that. You can see that I'm absolutely terrible, useless at applying eyeliner. See like my trick, my hack to it, sort of. Now, most people will sort of do like eyeliner, like and like on their eyes, sort of thing, which is um very hard to do, and I don't actually think it's that good. What I generally do is like do it like outside, like side of the eye. I mean, absolutely possible with this mirror. But what I, what I generally do is just try and make a thin line and then just make it thicker. But normally, it's literally just a line. It's just a random line coming from the side of my eye. Which, actually... Usually looks fine. Oh, I see. So I've got a new thing like inside that's more. Okay, that's terrible. And I will blame the terrible mirror. But anyway, that is how to not do eyeliner. And of course, the last thing is lipstick. And I'll use the one I like today. It's a good one. See that shade there? And or as I just do this one. Just do that, and 
Yeah, actually, that that's pretty okay. So yeah, that's my makeup done, and it is not great, but whatever. That's what it is. So um, yeah, please give me hints, advice. Try not to tell me too much about what products I'm using wrong because oh shit, what I've forgotten is this. Hang on, my lip gloss. Um, the mirror. Just slap this on. Well, I've forgotten lip gloss because I don't actually usually use it. Use it today. You see, it just makes it a bit shinier. Not a huge difference, but you know, it's one of the pretty. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As I said, like, please don't give me too much advice with like products and stuff. But I mean, you can obviously, please do. But also, I prefer like just techniques because I um I buy too much makeup. But anyway. Thanks for watching and goodbye.